Do you like to make your operators look fly? Do they demand to Mac out? Is the call for drip overwhelming you? In today's video, I will take you through every skin available over the next six months in Arknights, both new and returning. It's time to buy something for your loved ones. Before you make the purchase, however, it is good to be aware of all the options. You know what else is a good option? The best option? Subscribing to me here on YouTube and on Twitch at twitch.tv slash drvolk. I'll be live a few hours after this video releases. Before we start the fashion show, a quick overview for what the different skin prices mean and an explanation of skin vouchers. So, 15 Originite Prime means you just get a new idle animation in the base, a new poke animation in the base, and a new deploy animation. 18 OP is the same as 15 OP, but there's also new attack and skill animations. 21 OP has everything that 18 OP has, plus live 2D animation in the profile, and when you set that skin slash operator to the home screen. 24 OP is the same as 21 OP, but also comes with new voice lines. As for skin vouchers, when an alternate version of an operator releases, if you own the skin for the standard version of that operator and you paid for that skin with OP, then you will receive a skin voucher allowing you to select any skin that's currently in the skin shop, excluding live 2D skins. The voucher has no expiry, so you can hold on to it until a skin enters the store that you want. Do keep in mind, if you use that skin voucher to select another skin and then the operator of that skin gets an alternate, you will not get another voucher. So you can't chain one voucher into the other. It needs to come from a skin that you paid for with OP. Free skins don't count either. Global players have the advantage where we know what's coming up ahead. So whenever a alternate is announced, there's always an opportunity to buy their standard version skin if you want to get something for free. So for instance, alternate to Spectre has been announced just recently. In Neolite and the limited event after it, Spectre's skin is rerunning. So you can get that skin now and then you'll get a voucher. In short, it makes the skin for the standard version of the operator free. This video releases with Neolite mere hours away. However, I will still include the new skins from that event here and the notable reruns. The older reruns are covered again later as they go on sale every three months, so I won't show them here as part of Neolite. We begin with Palace receiving her first skin. Rosa receives this masterpiece of a royal skin, absolute top tier animations. Love this skin, will probably be buying it myself, almost certainly with the skin voucher from the release of Radiant Nell because I own the regular Nell skin. Lowlight, my boss, tries on another cosplay. Our girl Myrtle finally gets the recognition she deserves with this adorable and 100% free skin. W's forlorn skin from her past returns. This may be the last opportunity to get this skin at a discounted price before it gets live duty added and the cost increases to 21 OP. In CN, I believe this is the final skin, apart from Ash, for a limited operator not to have live duty yet. Lightsaber Texas reruns in store. And Papers Please Pro Player Doberman goes full military. With Neon Light out of the way, we look to the next event CC7 or Contingency Contract 7 where Ark abandons the fairy life to become a drug dealer as the event reward. An old skin of Sieges returns to the game as part of the CC store, available for a little in-game currency. For the prison-themed event Mansfield Break, Robin recruits a gang of trash pandas to rob the saloon. And ready to arrest her is Saria in this skin rerun.
In a more festive light, Elysium returns to deliver your letters to Santa. And Santa's favourite elf, Weedy, is also on hand. Uh, Firewatch doesn't understand the meaning of Christmas or joy. The ice theme continues into Break the Ice with the new winter skins of the year, starting with the elegant Carnelian. Kafka cuts through the gloom. And Leon Hart is doing... You know what? I've got no idea. As for reruns, we have Irene. Honestly, he looks almost the same as default here. Bybeak fell over on the way back from the thread store. And Gravel is not to be trusted, no matter how good she looks. For New Year's, a free Beanstalk skin goes out to all players. However, if this is like the New Year's Grey skin, this will be released out of sync and for our actual New Year's, rather than in the middle of the year six months after CN. I've just left it here for the record. Who is Real reruns with a skin for the free operator Lava the Purgatory. The skin is not free, of course. Reruns have Chinese New Year Chen. This skin is getting a high quality figure in real life, priced at a few hundred dollars. Swire spreads the love with financial cheer. And Liskarm doesn't know how to leave work at the office. Headlining the Invitation to Wine fashion show is Dusk with her first skin and a live 2D one at that. Note the birds in the mountains. Mr. Nothing makes the ladies swoon with his smoldering eyes. Vita debuts her mukbang stream. The free skin of Invitation to Wine is Indigo with the finest hair in the land. As for the reruns of Invitation to Wine, we have Nian skin with added live 2D and an increased price tag of 21 OP. No extra charge if you already purchased it. Hung returns from a drive. And Ark lets Lee know that the hit is done. The next set of 23 skins are from the first year and reappear for just about every limited event. I will proceed through these faster than normal for the sake of expedience.
A Light Sparking Darkness has a free skin for Jackie, inspired by a Jackie Chan film. I am looking forward to her guest appearance on Corridor Crew's Stuntmen React. Kyobi goes on the hunt for even more food. Waifu's feature art is the best part of this one. I really like the style. Following, we have Asbestos as the free event skin for Contingency Contract 8 with the best music. The old Cardigan Christmas skin returns to the CC store. Guiding Ahead guides us to one of the most elegant skins in Arknight, modeled by Sailor. On the other hand, we have Toya, who I would never trust with a needle. Mulberry doesn't just grow a green thumb this season, she grows a whole green hand. From the Raidmo 6 collaboration event, Schwartz returns with her Skyline skin. Sadly, this isn't an indication of a rerun for the Rainbow Six Operators and their skins. Liskam accompanies Schwartz with the Isekai Rainbow Team. A Walk in the Dust reruns shortly after with the skin for the Free Operator Heavy Rain. The skin isn't free, of course. Odd that shining a light on allies grants them stealth. Hmm. One of my favorite skins reruns for the Chad himself, Heliger. Alongside him is Mega Weeb Shiryuki. Chapter 10 draws focus on Siege's gang in the post apocalypse. Indra's looking pretty fly here, however, that is nothing compared to that cool King of Cats beside her. Number one Metal Gear Solid fan scavenger finally gets to show off her Raiden cosplay. For reruns, we have this popular Angelina outfit. Star of Twilight, the man himself, Midnight. This Greythroat skin looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Executor comes sliding back into the store. Saria goes hard ass in this one. I was undecided if I wanted this or the Mansfield Break skin. This popular Lapland skin also makes a return. Announced mere days ago with the skins for the limited event in six months, Stilti Fera Navis. We don't have all the details yet, but I'll play a brief montage of these skins to whet your appetite. I particularly like the Dracula Gnosis skin.
sometime after the limited event, Ambience Synesthesia returns with skins for Reed, Tequila, and Mudrock as they star in Nian's latest blockbuster. I never knew Reed could look so cool. And that's the end of the Rhodes Island Fashion Show catalog for the next six months. Which skins do you have picked out for purchase? Let me know in the comments below. I'll be getting something for Silrash and Saria certainly, perhaps even Gnosis. I'm looking forward to most of the free skins as well. If you are watching this video at release or in the few days after, there is a good chance I'll be streaming on Twitch for the Neo Light event that begins in a few hours. I'll be creating a brand new account to beat the entire event before it finishes, as well as doing viewer pulls plus my own pulls for Radiant Earl. All of this live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash drvolk. Do come and join me. I stream several times a week outside of that. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. We also have a Discord server where you can ask for help or add friends. Links below. Thank you kindly for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.